Wow, is that it? Yeah. Amazing. Look at how big that is, Kevin. Yeah, that's pretty big. This really is unbelievable. The hinge has a diameter of over 100 feet and uh, it's a very strong structure. It doesn't resemble anything like a water tower or cooling tower support structure for that, for example, because it's plastered and it's painted with the green camouflage paint. One of the other strange facts is that uh, it has an unusually strong reinforcement, which says that uh, there were very strong forces acting on it. So you think some sort of important craft was tested here using the henge as a test rig of some sort? It could have been used for, for testing the, the bell, the glocker. If the bell is powerful enough to create a space-time distortion, then it could leave traces that would still be evident decades later. So what we're going to do is look for radiation signatures and magnetic aberrations in the center of the hinge. This looks like a good spot. I got something hard. It's a brick. And we didn't find any evidence at the center of the hinge, so now we have to look at the perimeter. If the Glock really did exist, then if it would have created a large level of radiation, it would have spread from the center all the way to these columns here. And possibly we'd pick something up. But it's been so many years, I'm not surprised that we're not getting any unusual readings at all. All right, guys. Follow me. And we're in Poland looking for a connection between UFOs and Nazis. And we found this, this strange structure that could possibly be used as a UFO test rig. But I think there's a more plausible explanation, and I've found some evidence to back me up. Well, you're taking us to a dump? All right. This is great. This is a good vantage point. Look behind me. Right here. Behold, it's the hinge. It's right there. It's simply a, a concrete support for a water tower and a power plant. Well, of course they're similar, Kevin. I mean, we're, we're not saying that, that aliens built the Henge. We're not saying that that's some kind of extraterrestrial structure. I mean, both of these were built by humans, so of course they look similar, right? Yeah, and the fact is, it's camouflage. It's supposed to be camouflaged. You don't have a top secret weapon to end the war and put a neon sign on it saying top secret weapon to end the war. So if you're going to have a test rig, you disguise it as a water tower. That's what you're saying? Absolutely. You disguise it. You hide it in plain sight. I mean, do you remember at the Henge, there, there was a factory close by, a power plant, they needed a water tower for the cooling system, and that's exactly what the Henge was. It, it was a base for that, just like we're seeing here. Look guys, it's Occam's razor. Then the theory states that the simplest answer is always the best. And, and it's clear we have the same thing going on right here. The simple answer is, at the Henge there was a factory. It needed a cooling system, a water tower, and the Henge is simply the base of a water tower.